Welcome back here to Full Circle Florida. Let's bring in senior editor and senior elections analyst at 538, Nathaniel Rakich, joining us from Chicago at the Democratic National Convention. Nathaniel, um, do we know yet how much of a convention bounce Kamala Harris could get from this week? We don't know. Really, you have to wait until the first polls come out after the convention is over, which I would imagine would be this weekend at the earliest. In addition, though, it is a question whether she's going to get a bounce at all. Historically, of course, that does happen. But also historically, you don't get a new presidential candidate just a few weeks before the convention. So I think you could argue that Harris is already in a bit of a honeymoon period that has basically approximated the bounce that she would have gotten or that maybe Biden would have gotten out of this convention. Different kind of race, different kind of math. Uh, meanwhile, how is the election? electoral battleground starting to evolve. We're seeing now that uh, North Carolina is becoming more of a battleground state. Uh, is this now expanding beyond the big seven so-called battleground states and spilling into other states that are now in competition? Yeah, so I think it's gone from a focus of six states. So that's uh, Michigan, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, Arizona, Nevada, and Georgia, extending that into a seventh in North Carolina. But beyond that, I think it's going to be hard to expand the battleground. There are just so few states that are competitive these days. Um, they really focus the campaign in those states. But in terms of the state of the race in those places, Harris is leading in the polls in six out of those seven states. Uh, only Georgia is the exception for her. That said, it is very close. Her biggest lead is in, I believe it's in Wisconsin, which is only about three points. So that gives you a sense of like, clearly this could still go either way. What, if any, impact will RFK Jr. have on this race? Is he just a drop in the bucket at this point? Um, or does a drop matter if this race holds tight? Was he ever actually relevant? Yeah, um, I, I think all of the above, right? Um, you know, I do think that he was always probably going to tail off as the campaign kind of got going. Uh, that always happens with third party candidates as people kind of get afraid to not vote for one of the two major candidates who have a better chance of winning. Uh, at this point, it does look like most of RFK's supporters are more conservative. So I think you could expect Trump to maybe get a little bit of a bounce. But yeah, RFK's support right now, he's only at about 5% nationally. And so if maybe, you know, some of those people aren't going to vote, some of those people are still going to go for Harris. And so that's probably not that much of a boost for Trump. But yes, absolutely. In a very close election, it could matter. Nathaniel Rakich at the Democratic National Convention in Chicago. Nathaniel, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Next on Full Circle Florida, feelings are great, but what about facts? Personality versus policy. What is the Kamala Harris game plan? What we know and what we still don't. Next.